All right, guys, so just going to be a super quick voiceover for this workout in particular, and I'm just going to kind of talk about how my training has been going lately and just all that kind of stuff. So this workout was actually filmed a few days ago, maybe three, four days ago. I don't remember, like, specifically, and I know I filmed a lot more content after this that I actually have to edit, so I'm not exactly sure exactly what happened in this workout. I think I worked up to a top set of three with 405, then I did three back off sets of six with 355, then I just did some... Uh, then I did like three sets of three sets of twelve uh, with like two seventy five as a stiff legged or deficit work something like that. I'm pretty sure those are all accurate. So as you see right here, I'm just doing conventional, and the reason for that is because in the past I did sumo, and sumo was pretty much my main movement, and I had extremely extremely good leverages for sumo. But the issue with that was is that it put a lot of stress on my hip adductor tendon, and I wasn't really getting that much hypertrophy from it because it was such a short range of motion. Everything was so efficient for just maximum power. And that's kind of the reason why my conventional is so weak because I never really trained it that much. Be believe it or not, I've actually never hit 500 conventional before. Uh, my The most I ever hit was probably like 455 conventional, which is not that much at all compared to my 605 sumo. So definitely conventional is one movement that I really, really want to bring up. And just besides the fact that it's going to give me stronger overall by just developing my posterior chain more my glutes my hamstrings all that just give my physique more balance to it just give me more actual true strength so then in the future when i'm completely healthy when i switch over to sumo deadlift again i could actually pull like extremely extremely heavy weight and hopefully get up into like north of the 700s eventually at some point in my life so here these clips are sped up obviously these are just my back off sets of six with 355 and i stayed kind of conservative because I don't want to push it too much. I could have obviously done more for my top set, more for my back off sets, but since I'm just starting a new training program, I kind of wanted to back off a little bit. Now, speaking of my training program, it's actually Elliot's third program. Of I've talked about it before. I've left it in the description box of one of my old videos, but I'll leave it again in this uh, description box if you guys want to check it out. But yeah, this is just me running the first week. This is uh, just the pull day. Oh, there's Dylan. He just came in there. He was actually filming the video that same day, too. We got some uh, clips of him afterwards. So, yeah, this is sped up like 400%, I think. This is just me doing touch and go, banging out the, uh, st uh not stiff legged, the, um, the deficit deadlifts. I was like standing on that plate. And then afterwards, here's just me doing my hypertrophy exercises for the day, whatever the program said. And,. I didn't put all of them in here because it's kind of boring. It's kind of the same set multiple times. I think I did all the pull-up sets. So, for example, I think it was three sets of eight I had to do today. But I may have went over some of the reps for some of the sets because, like I said, I was kind of being conservative this workout. So when I kind of hit the rep range that I needed to hit and I felt if I had, like, a decent amount more in the tank, if I was, like, an RP, like, six or seven, I threw in a few more reps. So here's me doing barbell rows. This is the only set that I played in real time. That's not sped up. And I'm only using 135 because I'm just, once again, getting back into the feel of it, and I don't want to be just retardedly sore the next day and just have a crazy amount of doms. So I like using straps on the... Um, barbell row because it just makes the movement more pleasant and i just in general i just hate barbell rows so much i just feel like the form's so open to interpretation and there's like so much swaying you don't it just I, and i get like out of breath and dizzy when i end this and i just don't like barbell rows at all but i'm gonna get good at them i'm gonna start doing them because hey that's what the program says and that's just one thing that i really really like i love having a program that i just have to stay completely just designated to just I do it no matter what to the point where I go to the gym exactly the amount of days I need to go a week and whatever it says or whatever rep ranges are like told that I have to do I hit those rep ranges no matter what no matter how strong or weak I am that day and when my training was like that or is like that that's pretty much when I made all my gains I would go through like spurts of like maybe five to six months where everything would be very very consistent with training and eating that's where I make just an explosive just an insane amount of gains and so then when like all my like diet is kind of shitty and my training is inconsistent I just cruise around at the same like muscle mass I just kind of get leaner get some like cool pictures and stuff but I'm not really making that much progress but like here I just feel myself really really getting back into it my appetite's getting better my training's feeling really really good I'm actually not really using that much pre-workout at all like I'll either just use a cup of coffee maybe some hot chocolate sometimes nothing actually believe it or not for this workout I didn't take any pre-workout whatsoever and I just felt really good but let's say I didn't sleep much a certain night, I would maybe take a stronger pre-workout, maybe like an ESP or like a powdered form of Jack 3D, something like that. But yeah, the voiceover is pretty much done. This club's about to end. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, let me talk and tell them like what it is and then like you can put it at the end. All right, guys, you know how I'm doing like an online certification to become a personal trainer? Well, this is what's on the certification. You're supposed to do lap pull downs just like this. It seems weird, but it's true. 
Yeah, just make sure you squeeze it on the way down. You gotta squeeze it. You get that stretch. And you gotta there make you sure go. it slams at the bottom. There you go. And then Good. Yeah. Good contraction. Get the inverted rows like that. Perfect, perfect. Hold. And then you twist up like this. And you just. And then you do a clock circle. Perfect. Oh, wow, there's a Wait, twist to it. Legs off. Wait, yeah, but that's for the lower back. Get the, lum get the lumbar activated. Good forearm work, too. to Denny's after the workout with Dylan and as you see my plate is completely almost wax clean my water's gone my decaffeinated coffee's gone and as you move this uh, tower of tissues we have this um, just probably half of those plates still there and uh so yeah I'm very proud of myself I finally defeated Dylan in an eating contest so yeah that's oh, we were doing a contest